Hey there, everybody. I, I had somebody. Hey, everybody. I've had one or two people ask me, hey, what are you using to shoot all your video, various video footage? So I thought I'd do a little quick video that uh, shows you kind of what's in my gear bag. One of the favorite things that I'm using is uh, with my GoPro, and it is a triple suction cup. It'll stick pretty good to just about anything. I also have a uh, ball mount on it where I can flex it up and turn it to uh, just about angle, any angle and uh, it works out really well. Here I've attached the suction cup to the jet ski and you can see I can pull pretty hard on it. It's not going anywhere uh, even at 50, 60, 70 miles an hour I've had it on the car. It stays on there nice and solid. Is this, is this thing on? Is it going to shoot lasers at me or something while I'm out on the water? Is it? It's, it's kind of scary sitting there pointing at me all the time. I have to show is I have a pole. People call it a selfie stick. It's a GoPro pole. For the, when, it, when it comes to the pole, I'm mostly using it to gain height. Uh, this, this hair thing is confusing. I, I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. Whack people or something? I don't know. So this is the head mount. GoPro sticks right up here. You can see at any angle, see what your head sees. You turn your head, the camera turns with you. It's uh, not great for a lot of movement because the camera will be shaking around a little bit, but, uh, but it's good for getting a POV. Uh, I don't use this one all that much, but I have used it on the Rivers of America. I did the Davy Crockett Explorer Canoes. If you see that video back in the past, that was shot completely with the head mount, and that was to get a little bit of elevation and also go hands-free while operating the canoes. Next thing on the list is going to be the gooseneck clamp. It'll allow you to clamp the, the, cam, the GoPro to just about anything within that width. Then I can take the clamp and I can mold it any which way, and that allows you to put the camera in just about any position. This is a rotating time for getting like time lapses or things like that. It'll rotate slowly. There is uh, 60 minutes can get you 180, 90 minutes, 270 degree turn. And it'll turn, it's just, it basically operates the same way as a little leg timer, but it has a tripod mount on the top of it. And I've got a GoPro adapter. You just put your camera on top, point where you want to, what you want to start and it'll shoot 120 degrees, 180 degrees or 360 degrees around if you uh, so desire. Next piece I have is the wrist strap. The uh, wrist strap fits right around your wrist. Put the GoPro on top of it, you can lock it tight. Nice little thing here. There's a little latch that goes back and forth here. That allows me to spin it around in any direction and then move the slot and it locks into place. If it's just like that, and that way you can shoot it, you can shoot on the ride or anywhere you're going. You can point it up, down, you can spin the center section around so you can point the camera in any direction. What is this? Some sort of robot terminator attachment or something? You go boom, boom, boom. Shooting. I don't understand. I just don't understand what you people are doing. But the old days, we held a camera with our hands and we took a picture. And then we waited a week or two weeks for it to get developed, and that's how it was done. I don't understand this. This is a backpack clip. You can clamp it to the strap, strap of your backpack and have the camera right here. I use this a lot at Disneyland, and it helps uh, just keep the camera. You can keep the camera rolling. Footage can be shaky, but you can keep it rolling while you walk around and if something cool happens, a character comes out, uh, or just something interesting is going on while you hike, you can just stop, it's rolling, and it's right there. It's clipped, it's already going. You don't have to hold it or do anything. So it's pretty, uh, pretty useful. You can flip the, uh, it moves sideways here and rotates, so you can flip it in different directions. Very useful. Have a couple of tripods, mini tripod. The old uh, Gorilla Pod. You can flex the bottoms to just about anything. You can clamp it to stuff. Very flexible. Works great as a uh, pistol grip. Speaking of pistol grips, I have one of those too. This one floats. The bottom can be removed. 
to put things in, a little piece of paper or something. But this is great for uh, shooting in the water. You want to hold hold the uh, camera steady. I also have a, another small tripod. This one can uh, hold it a lot heavier, and it uh, works with regular camera as well. This is uh, a little more solid than the other one. I don't know why everybody needs all these gadgets. In the old days, we just we just held on to the camera. We just shot stuff. We just held it with our arms. We used our arms, damn it. What do you need all these things for? I don't know. In addition to the GoPro, I have this Panasonic Lumix. I bought it primarily for photos instead of video, but now I'm using it a lot for video. The uh, Panasonic Lumixes uh, take great video. The video quality is outstanding. Uh, the only thing I, two things that I, less excited about right now doing the video is there is no flip up screen so I can't see what I'm shooting it's best guess I've had pretty good luck with it so far but you are kind of guessing on the framing and it's not as good in low light conditions it's decent in low light but not outstanding one of the uh, really nice advantages I do have of this camera is it does have a 30x optical zoom Next on the list, batteries. I've got batteries for the regular camera. I've got GoPro batteries. You can get these are Wasabi. You can get the you can get the GoPro stuff, but you get Smatri or Wasabi batteries. They're great replacements. They're really inexpensive. It's like 12, 15 bucks you can get for two of them. For like 18 bucks you can get two of them plus another recharger. They have a 24-hour day at the Disney parks. No problem. Hiking all day, no problem. I've got enough battery juice to last the entire day, all 24 hours, and then still have some recharging at the end of the day. In addition to batteries, you always want to have memory cards. I have, I believe I have eight memory, eight micro SD memory cards for the GoPro, and I have four regular SD cards for the Panasonic Lumix. You can never have enough cards. I can swap them out. It's easy to keep, keep stuff separated. If I'm only doing something for six or seven days, I can keep each day on a separate card. So another thing I've got here is this roll bag. And this is great because it's got all sorts of stuff that you can keep in it. You unroll this. It's got a lot of little pockets. I've got positions for screws. I keep battery chargers in here. Also the floaty on the back of the GoPros in here. And then over here I've got the backings and the houses. Here I've got a uh, another ball mount. But this is great. You can keep a lot of stuff in it. I've kept extra batteries in here. And then it just rolls right on up. Velcro's up. Convenient carrying handle right in the center. So it's easy to pull stuff out at a moment's notice when you're traveling around. Which brings us to the uh, bag. This is actually just an Amazon Basics DSLR bag. There's lots of there's pockets here. There's a pocket on the top for smaller items. I have a couple of carabiners. You never know when you might need to clip something. And then it's got a bunch of uh, movable and adjustable dividers. I don't have lenses, but I've got all sorts of different mounts that I'm sticking to here. So I can stick my tripod mounts, pistol grip in here. I usually stick the timer here. Suction mount. Stick it like that. So I stick all the various mounts in there. It's pretty inexpensive and uh, it holds a lot of gear. And it is not, it's not real big. See, here's my hat. It holds a lot of stuff. But it's not overly bulky, it's a little... Way back when I used to have a DSLR with tons of lenses and I'd carry those around amusement parks all over the country when I was traveling. Uh, I just didn't want to do that anymore. I started carrying the lenses around, I started carrying the, the camera around, it was bulky. So I kind of just went with point and shoots for a while. And I've got the GoPro, I've kind of got more gear again. but. I like having this stuff, it's really flexible. I can't take a DSLR on the jet ski. I can't take a DSLR on a kayak. So there's things I could do with the GoPro that I couldn't do before. 
and the point and shoots and the phones have gotten so good, I'm satisfied with their quality relative to a DSLR. I'm also shooting way more video now and a lot fewer photos. So it's a good mix of, uh, of equipment for me, although if I get a G7X to deal with the low light situations, that would be even better. So that's a look at my gear. And don't forget everybody, have a good time all the time. What is it exactly with this having a good time all the time? What is up with that? In my day, we had a good time a little bit of the time, and the rest of the time we had to spend it with family. It didn't matter if you liked them or not, you just spent time with them. I don't get it. I don't get it.